Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can make a Roblox game logo like this in Photopea with just a few steps. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so once you're at Photopea.com, go ahead and click on new project. And for the size, it's going to be 512 by 512 for a Roblox logo. Now hit create. Now what you want to do is you want to get some text. So I'm going to type in dragon for the top text. I'm not really sure why I came up with Dragon Slayer. It just sounded cool. And so I went with it. And I'm just going to make it about 65. Move it to the center. Duplicate it. This one's going to be Slayer. And for the font, we're going to go with Luckiest Guy. Make sure to change your top text to that as well. So there we go. Move that to the center as well. Okay. Now it's coming along. Double click on the dragon text and go up to warp. For the style, choose arc. And we're going to do about 13%. Hit that check mark. And you should move it like this. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add some gradient overlays on our text. So let's start out with dragon. Let's go to gradient overlay. Click on this box right here and we're going to start out with like a darkish orange. Kind of like this. And then the middle is going to be yellow. So click to add a box there and if you accidentally add another just hit delete. This one's going to be more yellowish and then the top one is going to be the dark orange again like that you can adjust the scale if you want now i'm going to add an inner glow the blend mode is going to be color dodge turn the opacity up to 100 for now turn the color to that orange turn the spread and size up a little bit and then you can just turn the opacity down as you need to until it looks good but since the logo size is so small it's hard to see it because um it's all pixelated because it's a really small image so i probably could have showed you with the bigger one but it's okay um now what we're gonna do we're actually gonna make it bigger because it's kind of hard to see so go ahead and hit Control alt t to resize it just drag the boxes what size is this now 97 change this to 97 as well and move it below it now we're going to add a gradient overlay on the slayer text as well but this time it's going to be purple and then we're going to do like a pinkish and then another purple down here like that adjust the scale if you need to add an inner glow change it to purple or pink Whatever you want. Okay. I can barely see it, but it's there. All right. Now we're ready to add some lines to it to give it some more detail. And now once you're done with your text, we're going to convert them both to a smart object. Hold control or shift. Click on both of them and convert it to a smart object. Now you can see the lines are on here. So let's go ahead and double click on the Slayer text, add a stroke, and make it black. Turn the size up to about 17px, add another stroke, turn the size up even more, and we're going to change it from fill type color to fill type gradient, and we're going to do a pinkish, do a yellowish or orange. Like that I'm gonna remake these because I'm not too happy with them so let's do something like this make sure it only touches your top text okay now convert it to a smart object and clipping mask we can redo the process like that Control J, move this one down here and change it to a darker purple or a pink like that. 
So you can see it adds lines to it and it looks really awesome. Now we're getting closer to being done. So I added a little eye right here because like a dragon eye, um, it's pretty easy to make. You just zoom in here. Go over here to your rectangle tool, right click and go to ellipse. Now just draw out a circle. Change the fill to white and then just hit control J and then control alt T. To shrink it. This will be the black part of the eye. If you add a color overlay, you can make it black. And then control J, control alt T. Make this one a little bit bigger. Change the color to like red. And move it behind the black part of the eye. And then, yeah, like that. And what I did here is first, let's convert it to a smart object. Same with the text and all that. So now I added a little eyebrow that's red. So I got my pen tool and just made a little eyebrow like that. We'll combine them. So now we have the eyeball in there. So get your pen tool and do like a little outline here. Let's see what I did here. Yeah, something like that. Just to complement the shape of it. Now control J it, control alt T, right click, flip it horizontally and use your arrow key and shift to move it to the right side and line it up. Now double click on one of them, add a gradient overlay. You can delete this middle one and make it go from pink to orange like this and adjust the scale. And now you can just hit gradient overlay on the other and it'll copy it and there you go. So now we have the logo. We just add a dark gray background. There you go. And that's it. So I hope it wasn't too confusing. It was a little bit more advanced compared to my other tutorials. So if you followed along, congrats to you. You did great. And that's all I got for you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.